Hello everyone! Today I have a different kind of video for you. As you can see, I look like a kitty cat and that is the inspiration behind this look as well as the Choupette Holiday Collection from Shiomura designed by Karl Lagerfeld. As some of you may know, if you are really interested in fashion, Karl Lagerfeld has a cat named Choupette and she is the most beautiful fluffy cat on the planet. So a lot of people are quite obsessed with her and turns out Karl Lagerfeld draws his sketches with Shiomura Cosmetics. Go figure, right? And as as always, we're going to begin with a review of the products in the collection, namely the Shoe Pet Palette, which is what I used on my eyes today. Not only does it come in this super cute white and pink shimmery box, it actually has its own little case, and it is probably the cutest makeup piece collectible that I have seen in a long time. It fits the palette perfectly, and I just think that this is probably one of the best holiday palettes in a while. First of all, it has great textures. The eyeshadows are so shimmery, well pigmented, easy to use, creamy, opaque, all of that good stuff. And it does come with six different lip shades, all variations of pinks and purples and reds, which are really, really wonderful for holiday season. So I really love this palette and you can actually have the chance to win one of these. So check down below in the description box for a chance to win. If however the Shoe Pet palette is a little too much for you and you like smaller, lower maintenance products, definitely check out the Trios. Normally I don't like lip products in pans like this because I'm a swipe from the tube lipstick girl, but these are actually really nice. They're luminous, lustrous, not super long lasting, but they are moisturizing. So I love these and the packaging is just too cute. Next up we have the blushes and these are the Silk cushion blushes, I believe, and Shiomura has released several of these before, but I love them. I always look forward to them because they're some of my favorite natural blushes. They're slightly luminous, but no visible shimmer. They don't make your pores look gigantic. They don't settle. They don't drip across your face, and I especially love the pink one this season because it adds a little bit of feminine rosy color to the cheeks, just like you've stepped outside from a windy day. It gives you that windblown cheek effect, so I love the pink one. One, but the orange one is actually not orange it's more like a sandy peach so I really love this if you like more of a natural blush especially if you're like me and you prefer bronzer most of the time I highly recommend checking out this natural color last but not least are these adorable collectible products and as you can see they're both in silver packaging first we have the envelope clutch which is actually a mini brush set and I love Shiomara brushes they make some of the best brushes and this is just the empty um, brush holder. But here I have two of the brushes. They're absolutely adorable and they're still quite soft. Normally I don't recommend brush sets, but I feel like the mini brush sets get worse and worse every year, but Shiomoras have always been fairly consistent. So they're still a really decent quality brush. So I highly recommend this set if you're looking for a travel brush set. And last but not least, we have the Shoe Pet Collectible Eyelashes. Shiomura usually makes a really avant-garde, beautiful collectible eyelash style with each collection. And this is just too cute for words. They have pink feathers, rhinestones, it has everything a girl could want. So although these will probably stay in the box because I love Karl Lagerfeld and I want a keepsake, I do think that these are adorable and they make a great gift. Before we move on to the tutorial, I just wanted to share that I do have a coupon code. It's Shoe X Ray and I'll also list it down below in the description box for you. But if you use that coupon code, you can get an exclusive Karl Lagerfeld for Shoe Pet tote bag with your order. And if you order anything over $25, you get free shipping. So make sure to take advantage of that coupon code while you can. Now, without any further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. As you can see, I already have my base and my brows on, so if you're interested in what I'm wearing, check down below in the description box for all product names and links. So we're going to get started with the Shoe Pet Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to start by setting down a little bit of brown eyeshadow. I'm going to use this softly shimmering sand here on top of my creamy eyeshadow base. Again, all that info is in the description box. And I'm just going to pop it into the creases to soften out that that cream shadow and provide a transitional crease color so that our eyeshadows look nicely blended. Now I'm going to take the yellow gold and place it all over the lids. This is a pretty interesting color because it has more yellow than I expected, 
but it pairs so beautifully with the shimmering sand eyeshadow color. The textures are soft, pigmented, layerable. I highly recommend them. I just think they're so beautiful on. And now for the fun stuff, I'm going to be working with this quadrant today, as you can tell. And now I'm going to take a little bit of this pink eyeshadow here on my flat eyeshadow brush. And all I'm going to do is line the outer half of my lower lash line. This pink is bright enough where it won't make your eyes look swollen. Instead, it'll just be a really cute hint of pink. And finally, for this palette, we're going to use a little bit of the burgundy purple eyeshadow just for a little definition in the outer corners. This will actually make our eyes look larger. And you want to use just a little bit at a time. You don't want to layer on too much. You can actually skip the burgundy purple entirely if you find it too dramatic or simply use it as eyeliner, but I chose to wing it out a little bit for a more cat eye effect. Just make sure to use a little bit at a time and blend out the edges so that it looks nice and natural. I'm actually using the applicator sponge tip that came with the eyeshadow palette to blend it out. You can obviously use an eyeshadow brush, but I just wanted to show that these are more versatile than they look. And now that our eyeshadow is on, I'm going to define our eyes with eyeliner. I'm going to use this pencil in brown, and I'm just going to start by placing it in the water lines, and then I'm just going to place some on the lash line. And of course, a good cat eye needs a sharp wing, so I'm just going to wing it out starting by pushing the pencil towards the eye, toward the pupil, and then pulling out as necessary. And that is the eye look complete. I'm going to apply some Big False Lashes, my favorite style from Shiomura, but I'll be right back. And here is the look with false lashes, as well as a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line. These are the Shiomura Farfalina. They're one of my favorite dramatic lashes of all time. They're just so phenomenal on camera and in photos, so I highly recommend them. Unfortunately, the US Shiomura website does not ship these to us, so I usually buy them when I'm abroad, and I can order them from selfridges.com. The shipping is pretty expensive, but I do think it's worth it because these lashes last for about 20 uses, so I highly recommend them. And normally, I'm an all bronzer, no blush kind of gal, but because this Choupette blush is super, super cute, I'm going to apply a little bit of pink to the apples of my cheeks just for a more feminine touch. They're actually super natural. A little goes a long way. They're quite long lasting. And as most of you know, I like subtle blush, so this works perfectly for me. And although this Pam Pearl Me powder is actually a face powder, I only use it as a highlighter. And if you use just the right amount, it almost mimics my favorite Clay de Peau highlighter. And it's super natural, super beautiful. It's also in a loose form, which makes it really easy to manipulate, so you can add more, add less. But I highly recommend it. It's one of the best shimmer powders that I have tried from Shimura. So I'm just going to use one of the travel size brushes from the Karl Lagerfeld for Choupette case, the mini uh, brushes. And I'm just going to sweep a little bit across the apples of the cheeks, down the bridge of the nose, on the other cheek. Now we can't forget the lips, so I'm going to use the Choupette palette one last time, and I'm going to use the lightest lip color at the very end here. And it's a peachy nude, and I'm applying it with my travel kit brush set, the lip brush. And it's very sheer, very light, very natural. We're letting the eyes do all the work here. But I'm going to top with a nude lip gloss. I showed this in my last haul video, which was just posted recently. And this nude lip is going to give me a little bit more color. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this look come together. And don't forget to check out the blog for more giveaway information as well as swatches of the products used. So check down below for the link and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!